Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about fluoride toxicity and what is fluoride and where is it found? So fluoride, if you remember on the periodic table, it's part of the halogen group and this is with the atomic number of nine and the symbol is F for fluorine. And it is a pure gas and it is the most reactive and electronegative of all of the elements and that becomes very important important when we talk about the biochemistry and how this is working and having negative impacts on our health. So fluoride is found in the environment, whether it is naturally occurring, which can happen from the breakdown and the weathering of rocks. It's also in volcanic emissions. So this is something to know that we really can't get away from the fluoride, but it is inherent in our environment. And certainly certain environments that are closer to these things will experience more fluoride, whether it's in the groundwater, also so from rock mining and the use of rocks in terms of phosphates, aluminum manufacturing will also have offshoots and out pourings of fluoride, unfortunately. And this is initially how it actually got into our drinking water. Somebody thought it was a great idea to have, you know, that excess fluoride put into drinking water. And it has been in some countries like here in Canada, in parts of Canada in the drinking water ever since. Fluoride is also found in the air as gases and as particulate matter. Naturally occurring fluoride in spring water, especially if there isn't an industry nearby to that spring like an aluminum plant contains about 0.01 to 0.03 parts per million or milligrams per liter of fluoride. Now seawater is a little bit higher in fluoride and it has close to 1.3 parts per million of fluoride and of course some parts of the world have much higher amounts depending on where they are situated and that natural occurrence of the fluoride. So it can be as high as 10 to 20 parts per million in some parts of the world in the water and this at that level of course would be universally agreed upon that this would not be safe to ingest. Now in living organisms fluoride does accumulate so in animals it usually accumulates in the skeleton so in the bones and in plants the fluoride will accumulate in the leaves so that again becomes important in terms of the type of foods that you're eating and it's something that I discuss in other videos what to look out for in terms of the mechanical breakdown of of meat products if the bones are included that becomes more important because there could be toxic fluoride in those types of meats but also in plants so in our fruits and vegetables if it is accumulating in the leaves this is something to consider as well in terms of fluoride toxicity and fluoride levels in the environment definitely depend on how close you are to you know something that is emitting fluoride so there's something to definitely consider and doing your due diligence when you're choosing where to live and what foods to consume as well where they're coming from so I hope that you learned something new I'd love to hear from you so please drop your questions in your comments in the comment section below be sure to share this video as well with someone that you know needs to know this information and give me a big thumbs up I truly appreciate all of your great feedback if you're new to my channel welcome in I hope that you'll subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.